Hello and welcome. I decided to stop the level up and codex rank up shorts video spam. Instead, I will make these videos in the usual video format and make them longer rather than more numerous. I made this decision because of two factors. The first one is that shorts videos do not seem to count towards my overall video watch time and since I need 4000 watch hours to monetize this channel, I will be mostly making videos that do count towards that goal. Second reason is also very important and it is that whenever I play Entropia Universe more than few hours a week, I tend to get random level ups and codex rank cups fairly often and publishing those shorts a bunch of times a week seemed to me like I was just spamming content. So I will rather work on a video topics that are more of an interest to me and will release a video anytime I have one ready rather than try to publish at least something every day. I still want to share these small achievements with all of you though. So I will bunch up all these miscellaneous stuff into occasional few minute long videos like this one. That being said, today's video is about 6 different level ups that I got over the last week while I was hunting inside Easter Mayhem Annihilation instances or in one case after taking the Codex reward. Codex rank ups will be in their separate video but the level up is here in today's video. In any case, three of these level ups are rather significant to me and the other three are neither here nor there. I will put chapter timestamps into the video description in case you are only interested in some of these or if you just want to quickly check what professions I leveled up this time around instead of watching the entire few minute long video. Let's start with a couple of the least impressive ones. I hit level 61 in my electrokinetic damage profession and level 29 in translocator profession. I have not spent any notable time trying to actually skill these two professions. They were random level ups that I got thanks to general mind force skills I gained by using my combustive attack nano chip 6. And while both are relatively nice levels, getting them did not give me the same feeling of pride and accomplishment opening wood boxes gives me. <coughs> I meant to say that leveling up professions I am actually working towards gives me. I have hunted with some electrokinetic mind force chips in the past and I did own a teleportation chip during multiple different time periods over the years. However, the only teleporting I've been doing over the last few years was whenever I got hit by late night shits after I ate something dodgy too late in the day. One moment I was sleeping and dreaming of good loot, the next moment my eyes were wide open and I was dumping loot in the throne room. The next time someone tells you faster than light travel is impossible, prove them wrong. Eat a dodgy kebab and wait anywhere from few minutes to few hours. What follows will shut up every FTL skeptic. Level 34 Robot Looter was the third level up. This one is useful and actually made me happy as extra levels in any looter profession always come in handy. After all, according to Mindark, these levels increase the overall TT return for the avatar. And that is why I am really happy to tell you that I also reached level 52 in my animal looter profession. This is my main looter profession, as vast majority of mobs I hunt fall into the category of animals. Actually, I think most mobs in Entropia Universe are in this category. In any case, Animal Looter Profession is also the one looter profession that I am trying to get to level 60 ASAP, because I want the skill unlock that's there. At least I think there is an unlock at level 60 of any looter profession. These professions are so slow to skill up that any extra skill that contributes and helps it move along faster is nice, especially since every level should help my overall returns a little bit. My next level up goes hand in hand with the last two as I got it after taking perception skill as codex reward. 
Perception helps Luther professions, but it also contributes to many other professions. Anyway, this one was a level 53 surveyor. I expected to level this one up while mining, but who cares, I got there. And this is one of the professions I care about, as I do a lot of mining most years. Actually, I expect to get back to it soon after the Easter Mayhem ends. By the way, mining professions are in a similar boat to looter professions, in that they are also rather slow to skill up. And finally, my biggest skilling achievement thus far, level 80 BLP sniper hit profession. I got this one mostly thanks to the fact I really wanted to finish the bronze track and get that robot bunny pet from the Easter Mayhem mission. I found out that the last stage has a much larger jump in points needed than I expected. Instead of 7500 points that I originally expected, I needed 10500 points to finish the mission. I have not hunted all that much over the duration of the event and only found this out 3 days before the end of the event. So I bought some Air Matrix BC 65s and the smallest Mayhem Amp and switched from Annihilation Category 1 to Categories 3 and 4. Those guns are why I got this level up much faster than I originally thought. To conclude, I am glad I could share the news of my avatar's skilling achievements with you today. Level 80 BLP Sniper is quite a nice one for me, even if I am still far away from being an Uber. To be honest, I do not expect to ever reach the status of Uber as that is something that keeps moving in the wrong direction as the actual Ubers keep killing, especially the ones with the budget and free time to keep grinding at their level. However, my personal idea of being an Uber is level 100 in any of the combat professions, which is something I can achieve, even if it will take me many more years at this pace and with my budget. Another great goal I set for myself is level 80 in prospector and surveyor professions, and that level up in surveyor I shared with you today is a nice step in that direction. If you are wondering why I picked level 80 in the mining professions instead of level 100, it is both because these professions skill up slower, and because more than a decade and a half ago, I read a thread on the forums that was about some guy who was level 80 back then, and I was shocked by that and thought to myself that I want to be an Uber like that someday. I know there are many miners with levels much higher than that these days, as mining amplifiers and indoor mining do speed up the skilling grind considerably, but that level 80 is still what I aspire to thanks to the guy who inspired me all those years back, before all these big changes to mining system took place. I do not remember his name, but he sure did leave his mark on young Dorky. Level 80 in mining professions was just that impressive in times before amps and indoor mining were introduced. Compared to what I just talked about, my motivation to chase level ups in animal looter profession might seem bland and uninspired. However, skill unlocks and hopes of an improved TT return are worthwhile motivations too. Especially the latter one makes a lot of sense and is far more logical than stuff I talked about earlier. Level 52 Animal Looter is still a long way away from where I want to be, but it is quite a nice achievement nonetheless, as Looter professions are extremely slow to level up after level 30 and even more so after level 40 and then level 50. The only thing that makes this grind a little bit faster is Codex. Anyway, that is all I have to say on this topic today. I will try to publish a video about the Bronze Easter Mayhem mission and the pet I got from it tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow. I also have a Nassau hunting video in the works, as well as Easter Mayhem hunting video that I will publish sometime after the Nassau video. However, I do want to get the video about the Bronze Bunny pet 
out the door first as I am excited about the fact I managed to finish the mission in time and also it will be a shorter video compared to those hunting videos so I can edit and publish it much faster and then focus on those more chill and much longer videos. Either way, thank you for watching, like, subscribe and most of all, have a wonderful day and may Lutius smile upon you.